Welcome to the Science Asylum. I am Nick Lucid. So Trident 3B asked, Can you do one on gravity? I have yet to see an explanation that really describes how gravity exercises a pulling force. Well, Trident, that's tricky, but I like a challenge. Okay, first, let's start from a more familiar place. You've got free fall, which we've seen before. You've got projectiles, which is kind of like free fall, but they move along the ground, too. Like this. Or this. Or this. Or this! Unfortunately, air makes both of those really complicated. And this isn't a video about air. So let's ignore it. Physics learn. The faster you launch something, the farther it goes. Until eventually you miss the Earth completely. This is what we call an orbit. All of this is described pretty well by Newton's universal law of gravity. Which states two things. One all masses attract. And two, they attract each other more when they're closer. <gasps> that was like 350 years ago. Did you even read Triton's question? Let's take another look. Oh, oops. Okay, if you stop to think about it, I guess it does seem kind of magical. This law didn't turn out to be so universal either. There were a few things it couldn't explain, like Mercury's crazy orbit. In 1915, Einstein proposed a different model for gravity, called general relativity. It suggested that space itself was something tangible, that it could be bent, stretched, and twisted. If you've heard of it, you've probably seen a picture like this, or a demo like this. Lies! All lies! This diagram is actually drawn using Newton's law of gravity, not Einstein's. The only way this demo even works is if the Earth pulls everything down. I mean, they're decent for a quick explanation, but gravity is way cooler than that. According to general relativity, masses don't actually attract one another. There is no force. What? That's crazy! Yeah, it is. Remember Newton's first law of motion? It says that no force means you move in a straight line at a steady speed. If gravity isn't a force, then why does the moon do this around the Earth? WTF, universe! Believe it or not, this comes down to what you mean by a straight line. This is a line. It looks pretty straight, but how can you know for sure? You could pull out a ruler, but that assumes the ruler is straight. We need something that's a little more absolute. So here's the Earth and the Moon. There are many paths between them, but the straightest one is the one that takes the least time to travel. Dude, what are you getting at? Well, we said gravity isn't a force, right? And things go in a straight line when there isn't a force. So this is a straight line. It just doesn't look straight anymore because the Earth is there. We call them least time paths. Still with me? Okay, good. Without a force, any object will travel along a path that takes the least time. Mass just changes what those paths look like. And the bigger the mass, the bigger the change. A huge star can turn paths that look like this into paths that look like this. These least time paths also depend and the speed of the thing that's moving. The faster it's going, the less it's affected. But there is no speed that is unaffected. Light is affected by gravity. So yeah, gravity's crazy. Has gravity ever gotten the best of you? Please share in the comments. And if you want to yell at me for hurting your brain, you can share that down there too. And until next time, remember, it's okay to be a little crazy.